Hi everybody, my name is Jessie and I do perfume reviews in ASMR format so if you like perfume and also if you like ASMR you are in a good place for today's video. Alright, so today I am reviewing some samples that I have from the brand Misancir. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to go through that. So I bought a candle from Misancir. They do really wonderful candles. They might have started off even doing candles, I'm not sure. Um, and then they also do fragrances. I'm not a huge candle person, but sometimes I like to have a candle. So, Maison Cire is a Swiss house, um, which I didn't realize though, because a lot of their, um, what's written on their, the names of their products and stuff is French, like this is French, but it is a Swiss house. So I will show you what the candle looks like. So here's the candle, just really simple little one. And this one, as you can see, is uh, Fleur d'Orange. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but it means orange blossom. So this is an orange blossom perfume. Really beautiful, really sweet, floral. There's almost something a little bit uh, incense in it too, but it's mostly just sweet orange blossom. I'm on the website and the description of this says, unexpectedly powerful, this unique honey blend makes us, takes us through the passageways of the sun-drenched gardens of Seville. A sweet, fresh scent, a wash in light. So Spanish, uh, Spanish orange blossom. So that is the candle I bought, and then I got quite a few samples. All of the perfume samples came in these, but I took them out already. So I did get quite a few samples. Um, I have saved, the, I have pulled the ones that I was most intrigued by, and those are the ones that I'm going to test out by wearing. Some of them I, I have already worn, but not all of these, but I've smelled all of these. I just haven't worn all of them. And then there were some other samples that I just um, knew wouldn't be ones that I would consider wearing. So I didn't, ha I didn't pull those ones for this video. So yeah, I'll go ahead and be smelling these with you. So the first one that we have is called L'Ombre du Lys. And I apologize for my pronunciations because I have not looked up how to say all of these, so I'm not going to be saying them all correctly. But I believe this one is a lily fragrance. I think it has lily. Let's see. Yeah, so this is a very bright, fresh white floral. It's, it's very simple. As I'm seeing, it has orange blossom, willy, or sorry, orange blossom, tuberose, hedion, and musk and sandalwood. Um, so it's very simple. So yeah, just like white floral, fresh. I actually don't think this is one that I would want to wear or want to ever buy a full bottle of, so I'm going to note that. It's nice. It's a very pretty, fresh, slightly green, musky white floral. Alright, next one from Misancir is Poudre d'Or. That means like woody, powdery wood, I think, or powder of wood. So this one I wore yesterday, and this one is a beautiful powdery sandalwood tiare flower. So. It's very dominant in tiare flower, which is a tropical white floral, um, and 
it's yeah it's like a very musky white floral it also has some iris and vanilla and sandalwood very pretty very pretty but i know i wouldn't personally buy a bottle of this um i don't know i like tropical scents but like hmm this just reminds me a lot of coconut and so for some reason i'm just it's like a little too suntanny for me but it's a very like i said musky slightly woody powdery suntanny so it's it's kind of nice really nice okay next we have this is called très cher i heard about this one and a few other mise en seers from a youtuber named Elizabeth Grace. She really likes this um, brand. I think she said it was her favorite brand. And this is one of the ones she really loves and recommends a lot. Um, Today I share, it is a really beautiful um, vanilla white floral. I think it's white floral, is it? Let's see. Yeah, so this has um, orange blossom and jasmine. It also has a very prominent note of vanilla and also some amber and sandalwood and sea notes but honestly the sea notes are not super strong so it's not like super marine it's just very it's, it's a very beautiful warmed up with vanilla white floral that you could kind of imagine like uh, like the sunset going down on the beach and this really beautiful smell I think I will wear it once just to see i don't think it's something i would get a full bottle of but it's really really pretty really pretty okay oh and by the way i didn't really i always try to dress on theme this is just what i was wearing today i was actually at goat yoga earlier today if any of you have the option to ever go to a goat yoga i know it sounds funny but it's basically the one i went to it was just so amazing and I did it once last year it's where you just go into like a barn there's a bunch of baby goats and you like do yoga basically you're just like hanging out with goats baby goats that are jumping all over you so I wore this with the sweatshirt over over it and just to stay warm so that's the look for today and then I threw on some called bois iridescent and bois means wood so we know that this one is woody I'm gonna go ahead and give it a spray hmm really nice so this one is citrusy it's definitely got a burst of citrus it's a powdery wood, I would woody, I would say. And the woody is sandalwood. So it's not like super woody. It's a very fresh, well, as you can see, it's called iridescent wood. So it is a very fresh iridescent wood. So it's got bergamot, orange, and it also has um, violet leaf and iris and ambergris. And I love ambergris. It just gives it like a slightly warm hint of like salty ambery vibe so this is really pretty i will be wearing this to test it out more that is bois iridescent all right and then next this one is bois de misor don't know what misor means um so yeah i'll give this a spray Okay, so mm, this one is like a little bit, almost a little bit spicy. It has a, quite a bit of sandalwood in it, and oh, I see it's the cardamom that is giving it like a kind of warm, spicy vibe. It also has tangerine and a musk, quite a bit of sandalwood. That's the main note I'm getting. So I'd say mostly like sandalwood, tangerine, and cardamom, and musk. Really pretty. This is one I'll definitely be trying out more. Okay, and then next, 
This one is called Sweet Praline. Sweet Praline. So, I'm sure that this one is sweet. Alright. Mm. Yeah, this is really nice. Um, this has raspberry and jasmine and hedion, so white florals, little fruity. It also has benzoin and baroxin and a little bit of incense. So this is really nice. It's got a touch of that Baccarat Rouge 540 vibe. And this is a lot like the next one that I'm going to be showing you, which is called Four Year Love. I think this is the most popular from the brand. It's kind of similar to this one, though, the Sweet Praline. I think I prefer the Sweet Praline, though. Um, but let's see. Let's go ahead and smell For Your Love. And For Your Love also has a raspberry note, prominent raspberry note. Um, okay, yeah, so this has got, it's kind of like a musky patchouli raspberry. It's also got benzoin and ambergris. So to me, the um, For Your Love is stronger than the Sweet Praline. Um, They're both nice. I think I might prefer the Sweet Praline, but yeah. So that is For Your Love. Like I said, I think that's their biggest seller. I think that's their most popular one. Okay, next. This one is called Luxury. So we got an English word in here. Luxury. Oh, and For Your Love. I guess a couple of them have English names. Alright. So, I bet this one smells luxurious. Mmm, wow. This is powdery. I'm assuming it has iris. Yeah, this is really nice. It is very luxurious. It's prominent in, I would say, like, musk and iris. I see it also has ambroxan, vanilla, and tonka bean, benzoin, orange blossom, and bergamot. So this is really nice. Yeah, very powdery, kind of sweet. Mm. Definitely will be wearing this. So this is called Luxury. Okay, next. This one is called Edition de Veronique. This is another one that I heard about from Elizabeth Grace, the YouTuber Elizabeth Grace, that she really likes this one. She describes this as smelling like a triple milled French rose soap and um, it does smell like that. It's a very fresh soapy rose so if you're not into like kind of a soapy smell then you might not like this but it's just very beautiful. It's definitely very fresh like almost a little like aromatic or green um, and powdery. And it actually has a note of juniper, which I think gives it that slightly, like, aromatic edge. Mm, really pretty, and I did wear this one today, so I've got it on. Yeah, really pretty. Edition de Veronique. Okay, moving on, we have... This one is called Le Envers du Paradis. I do not remember what this smells like at all. Um. Hmm. Very prominently citrus. This is a much more masculine leaning fragrance. But it's one that I could kind of see myself wearing maybe. But yeah, prominent in citrus. It also has a pink pepper note. Musk and ambroxan and cardamom. Yeah, so it's kind of a musky, a little bit peppery citrus. Hmm, I really like that. Definitely more of a masculine fragrance, like, but, you know, 
sometimes you want to smell like a boy, I guess. Um, okay. And then lastly, this, or two more. This one is called Elixir de Musk. So, as you can imagine, this is going to be a musky fragrance. I did wear this one two or three days ago. This one is like a perfect scent for like when you're trying to really not smell like perfume because it's just really a very light, clean musk, just slightly, slightly, slightly sweet, but mostly just a clean musk. It's really, really pretty. Really pretty. It has notes of musk, obviously. Iris and heliotrope. Heliotrope is a very powdery, somewhat like almondy, little vanillic floral, purple floral. And it also has amber and amber wood. This is absolutely beautiful, stunning, very simple, clean, slightly powdery floral musk. You'd have to spray a lot to really smell much of it, but it's a perfect sort of office scent perfect scent for anybody who themselves does not want to smell strongly or does not want to smell strongly around other people. Love this. Absolutely love this. This is called uh, Elixir de Musk. So pretty. Okay, and then this one is called Musk Eternal. Musk Eternal, so eternal musk. This one is very similar to the Elixir de Musk. Um, I would say this one is just like it, but amped up. It's a little bit sweeter, a little bit more vanilla. Um, so this one has a note of tonka bean, which gives it a little bit more depth and sweetness and a sort of vanillic vibe. Um, mm, oh, this one's so pretty. So this has musk and tonka bean in the base. So very like a musky, slightly sweet, and a little bit like woody, grounded. But then it has all these beautiful florals, powdery florals. It has rose, iris, hawthorn, and also jasmine. So this one's so pretty, and it is honestly very similar to the um, musk eterna, the elixir de musk. Yeah, so. These are, I think if I were to get a bottle of any of the Maison Serre fragrances, it would be one of these, and they're pretty similar. But like, I'm just really having a musk phase of my fragrance journey right now. Like, I'm having like a powdery, musky phase of my fragrance journey. I do not know why. I don't know why. It's like, I guess we go through phases of things that we enjoy, and like right now, I've been just like really drawn to things like um, musk and iris um, and stuff like that, so that's interesting. Anyways, so that's my review of the Maison Serre samples that I got that I liked. Like I said, I got more samples, but these were the ones that I really liked and that I'm going to be wearing and seeing if I maybe want to buy a full bottle. Unfortunately, Maison Serre is a very, it's a very expensive line. It's a very high quality niche line. So the bottles are expensive and they do not offer smaller sizes. I think that all of their bottles are like 3.4 ounces, 100 milliliters. I wish they offered a smaller size, but um, so yeah, they're kind of expensive, but they are very good quality. They're very pretty, um, very classy smelling. I really did like a lot of these, so it's definitely a house that I feel like I am somewhat more drawn to than certain other houses in terms of like niche houses at least, which honestly like I don't know a whole lot about niche perfume because they're expensive. So, yeah. But anyway, and I've got this candle that I'm excited to burn sometime soon. I'm just keeping it in my bedroom by my bed. Maybe I'll burn it one of these nights when I'm going to bed. That sounds really nice. Okay, everybody. So that is my review of Mise en Serre sample perfumes and candle. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
sending you all some peace and love and just loving yourself and just being good with yourself and just just forgiving yourself from anything from your past it's in your past move on and just do better so sending you that message all right everybody i will catch you in another video soon okay bye